so robotic process automation is a tool which actually been in this company been uh, what is in this uh, technology industry has been used widely these days okay so this automation so let's go ahead and uh, we say that uh, let us see a classic example about uh, how this robotic process automation actually takes up so the first thing is you just see you are seeing here an human being who is uh, uh, currently what we say sleeping on his desk right if you throw lot many of the cases to a particular uh, like uh, for example uh, very very human intensive or like very very kind of a data typing or something like data entry based jobs like there are many of the data entry based jobs in the world right now so various of the companies they can only work for 8 hours and then they are actually the quality of the work we don't know and at the same time there is like one more big disadvantage right there that is apne ko pata bhi nahi hai ki like can we trust this particular work yes or no and we have to come up kind of thing going on okay so and that's where and to retain that particular uh, human being yes or no there are many of the stuff which goes up into this corporate hr's mind so with the help of one robotic automated uh, bot so a robot like uh, which can actually do some your process automation kind of like uh, entering your particular invoices into your system directly like for example uh, workflow management i mean okay to approve the particular stuff totally uh, like automatically without any human intervention and also like uh, we can think about one more example which can be like okay uh, generating different kind of invoices totally dynamically so this is the bis- biggest difference between this now going ahead when this robotic process automation started robotic process automation was lately uh, was getting developed from 1990s till 2000 but in the like year of 2000 it actually evolved and emerged like hell okay and people started like using robotic process automation uh, much more widely into their day to day lives mission in 2000s emerged up and now seeing why people are like this much uh, like what we say behind robotic process automation here to reduce down their costs of uh, human resources second thing to increase the quality of work uh, with the help of like this robotic process automation and third thing which i feel this is the most important is robotic process automation can bring uh, like what we say bring down the uh, what uh, the human labor which can be used for much more decision taking parameter okay rather than just being on like typing on something and doing some uh, uh, like repetitive task it can be more utilized for taking down the decision based stuff so that's where it is can be possible and how robotic process automation can be done so robotic process automation can be done using these all tools blue prism ui path automate anywhere these are the different tools which have been widely used in the market right now you can go and pick up any kind of tool and it's very very user friendly task based upon your screen scraping okay so let's now just go and understand how this whole thing works actually okay so how this whole thing works so this whole thing works upon for example let me open up uh, uh, covid 19 india tracker something like that okay so my government is having a, a particular website okay so i'm just giving you a classic example of how robotic process automation can actually work in real day to day life so how this can be working up we have this particular uh, what we say website which actually gives us the different kind of covid 19 base uh, uh, what we say the numbers are here so this is kind of a screen in which this whole things are like looking up now for example i have have to i have a classic application of let's upgrade corona virus meter or something like that i have to develop what i'll do i'll just go on this particular website and i will keep my viral patel or like lakshmidhar panda or like some of my friend to see this number every 15 minutes and then enter that number into our particular uh, what we say that particular dashboard and from there it can be getting updated into the app so you just now got it right we have to like see this data every 15 minutes and update it to a particular uh, dashboard from where it can be taken as an input but if at all that whole task has to be done with the help of a robot or like with the help of a bot and make this whole process automated we can do it very very easily with the help of this right so that is like uh, with the help of like we just have this screen space we will keep a screen scraper here and uh, as soon as we keep a screen scape scraper here that screen scraper will automatically every 15 minutes it will just go and see this uh, uh, particular website and scrap the data and put it into our dashboard dynamically 
everything happening up every 15 minutes of time we are saving huge amount of human cost and we are saving the quality work without any misconception anywhere in between so that's what it, it can be possible up it is totally very much possible with the help of uh, uh, ui path it is possible with the help of blue prism it is possible with the help of your automate anywhere and many other tools are there even python can do it but people do like uh, uh, use these tools for uh, majorly in companies for uh, robotic process automation right now where all this robotic process automation can be used if at all your company is from finance if at all your company is from what we say uh, like uh, HR, if at all your companies from ops or if at all your companies anywhere lying in between where you identify that okay this human intensive labor work can be reduced down with the help of one automated stuff where you find out some pa like pattern where you find out where you find out a pattern where actually you can uh, uh, just see that okay this pattern can be like automated so there you can use this robotic process automation finance departments are using it right now for invoicing hr departments are using it for like resume uh, scraping and also for like filing up your income tax returns with the help of one only document so many other like areas avenues this particular robotic process automation is using up but the prediction is it will be booming up like something and there are like three different types of what we say robotic process automation hybrid rpa attended automation unattended automation so hybrid rpa is a mixture of attended plus unattended both so attended automation is mostly to do with uh, where you are actually having one human being to attend along with the rpa tool so that's where like you have attended automation unattended automation is something like which are like totally not relying on any human being and the bot is itself processing the whole mechanism that's where is att unattended automation is all about so how to get started uh, regarding uh, like robotic process automation so we are series we are launching up a series of uh, mini series of like quick learnings in robotic process automation that is quick bites we are starting up on our community.letsupgrade.in just go and subscribe in there guys and we will be giving you lot and lot of content regarding uh, robotic process automation and all the job updates regarding it all the competition updates regarding it and all the what we say learning regarding it and also the certification if at all we are launching any future and all we will be updating you guys now let us go ahead and see what all jobs there are available in rpa right now as we are talking so these are the jobs which are right me readily available in uh, different kind of companies uh, you can see 100 plus jobs are there on google listings and if at all we go and search it on nokri you guys are able to see that okay we are having more than uh, 1200 to 1300 jobs uh, on rpa that is robotic process automation available right now in the industry okay and it takes which is required up so if at all you are a fresher like you have just now like two years back you joined up any industry and now you are thinking that okay what tool i should be like start using and for example the people who are spending the most amount of time for testing you can literally grasp on this tool testing of different kind of websites and also different kind of apps you can literally think about like rp as your probable career next and that is uh, we are having so many jobs here just think about like using rpa then uh, yep that's it guys so i hope that uh, this whole session was somewhat like helpful to you all let me just go back on my uh, ppt and yes any further questions i would like to uh, take uh, ahead and uh, just answer you guys just please uh, put up your all the questions here right away uh, what is the salary of a particular rpa see now if at all let us go and uh, see what is the salary of an rpa if you are four years experience and if at all you are having uh, four to nine years of experience your probable salary will be from between five lakh to eleven lakh per annum so this is one of the company which is asking figuretron corporation is asking uh, ui path rpa developer for 5 to 11 lakh rupees here you can see that right now and if at all we scroll down a little bit i think see here sk uh, veda Pula in universal tech if you are having 5 to 10 years of experience it is offering you 12 lakhs to 15 lakhs of package right now so yep as you can see that people are like paying hefty amount for like uh, rpa developers because of machine learning which was there uh, people started actually using i mean like uh, because of machine learning this rpa got developed lately and uh, because of this rpa many of the companies are right now automating their redundant jobs where they can save upon the human resource cost that's what is happening up right now why it is used in current world 
uh, in the current world it has been used in processing invoices in filing up your account process things where you have to like uh, for example websites uh, web scrappers are being used for robotic uh, in, in the field of robotic process automation web scrappers are being used for the same and uh, Yep, you will be launching a certification course in RPA. Yes, we are thinking to launch a certification program in RPA. Now we are just deciding upon the how can we offer it for you guys in free of cost. Uh, how can we go ahead? So that's what we are trying to do right now. So 100% we will be updating you all guys regarding certification program in RPA. Just go ahead and subscribe to community.letsupgrade.in for all the updates upon these things. Okay, so any other questions? Yeah. What is the basic thing to learn before uh, like before this? So the basic thing to learn before this may be kind of a machine learning algorithms. If at all you know about any kind of machine learning algorithm, it will be a very huge on add on, ha very huge add on for your own profile. If at all you know about it, then sir, I'm a student. I like to do some work like invoicing in robotic. Then uh, that's so where can I start? Okay, just use the UI path automation uh, tool. It is very, very user friendly and basic to start with. Just start playing with it. You will be able to. We are going to start a mini series on RPA very soon so that you guys can start learning about RPA in real time in real world and implement it. Register at community.letsupgrade.n so that we guys can update you regarding RPA and many more stuff upcoming. Okay, so that's it, guys. And I hope that today's live, the 10 minutes live, is now uh, was good for you all learning about what robotic process automation is and where the companies are been currently using <clears throat> using it so yep stay tuned to our subscribe to our particular youtube channel and please like this video right away so you can mark up your attendance right away i just want to see how many people are there just please put up your attendance by liking in this video and we will uh, go ahead uh, with the help of like uh, we can share it with the, these many people where they're live on the particular uh, youtube live Okay, so just go and mark your attendance by liking in the YouTube uh, video right away and it will be a kind of a boost for us too and subscribe to YouTube channel. So that's it guys. Thank you for being here right now and I hope your 10 minutes learning was successful right now and yeah, that's what is RPA and any more questions just go and put it on like community.letsupgrid.in. I will be answering every one of your question there and I hope every one of you are safe at your homes and uh, every one of your family member is safe in your home just please make sure that everyone is uh, fine so just please go up and like like this video right away and uh, comment whatever your thing is and we will be able to help you around so uh, yep that's it guys thank you thank you for uh, yep one question is like sir will it be useful for bca student 100 uh, percent it will be like useful for uh, a BCA student also if at all you learn it after once you be a fresher you can just go and think of applying into this field okay that's it guys uh, when is python third batch launching python third batch is launching up in uh, what we say last week of april that's what we are planning up 